Hi, I'm Mark Brody and this is my Mosaic Studio. Um, I do a lot of workshops here and um, recently a few of my students asked if I would create a grout video uh, showing the process so that they could have that to work on um, on their own. And I thought that was a great idea, so I'm gonna put that up on my channel. There are two things that I really wanna um, demonstrate to you in this workshop. One is about the color choice that you make for the grout you use. And the second one is learning the timing of the grout because you kind of have to be on their schedule. Um, it's a slow schedule, so you don't have to rush through the grouting process and that makes it a lot easier. You just gotta know when to do the work. So this is the mosaic that I'll be working on today. It's a glass mosaic and it is, uh, has thin set mortar attaching it to the substrate. The substrate is a hardy backer. This is good for uh, outdoor placement, indoors or out. Um, there's some fused glass elements in here and basically um, this is a landscape um, with, a, with the moonrise over it. That's kind of a hint as to what grout I will be using. Um, right over here, I have the tools that you'll be needing. Um, this, these are two rubber floats. Um, this is the standard one. Um, I like to work with the rubber. Um, this one is a smaller one and it's really good for uh, mosaic. And right here is a palette knife. This is what I'll use to mix with. And over here, I have the bag of grout. Um, this is sanded grout. It's um, a, a, a cement grout, good for outdoors. Um, really pretty easy to work with and easy to clean up. Um, as well over here, I have a couple buckets, uh, one that we'll be mixing in, one with water, um, and a third for this sponging that we do. Uh, there's a wet sponging um, cleaning process and then there is um, the dry cotton cloth uh, polishing technique. And finally, you wanna have a, a mask to um, protect you when you're uh, mixing the grout because the dry grout is, is not good to breathe. And all of this information is available in a book that I wrote, uh, Mosaic Garden Projects. Uh, this has 25 different mosaic projects for indoors or out and um, it has the grouting process, it has all the materials in it as well. Uh, one great thing about it also is it has templates in here that you can uh, scale up to the size you wanna work in. And these are the designs that I created in the book. Um, so there are, many, uh, there are many different projects in here, some of them are fountains, uh, but they all go through the same process of grouting. So um, this is available on my website and um, I have a free shipping offer on my website uh, to get your own copy. But first I wanna explain uh, how I do the process of choosing the right grout color. You know, grout colors, uh, they're, they're lights, they're mediums and darks, they're mostly um, neutral colors, but it's important to, to really decide which one um, is, is the right one to use. And the way I do that is it happens before I set the mosaic. Now, normally when I'm doing mosaic, I'm using what's called the double direct technique, which is where you're going to do the whole mosaic on mesh before you do any setting. And um, the process allows you to uh, put contact paper over the top of it and flip the entire mosaic upside down without any pieces moving. Now this gives you the opportunity to put um, different color paper underneath it so that you could see what it looks like uh, with that paper coming through like it were the grout. And so what I like to do is have it under the white, uh, which is usually my drawing paper. Um, I can see it there and then um, put it under black as well. Black is really exciting. Some people really like that. Um, the black is good if you have a lot of light um, tiles. It's different though if you have a lot of dark tiles. It will, it will just kind of um, group everything together and not show the details. Um, and finally, um, the neutral um, works really well when you're doing more um, organic uh, subject matter like things, things in nature. 
So those are some of the options you have. It's really amazing to see it under um, with a different paper underneath it. Now for mine, um, mine's a night scene. And even though I have some dark pieces in my landscape, I really want to go with that dark. It's going to make my sky very moody. And um, it's really going to bring out the highlights of the hills. So um, for this piece, I'm going to go with the black background. So now we're ready to mix the grout. And again, I want to use the dark grout. It's called charcoal because I want the, the moonlight scene uh, for my mosaic. Um, I decided I wear, will, will wear gloves because this dark stuff is really stains the hand. So uh, maybe a pair of nitrile gloves um, is a good thing. Um, I put the mask on so that I am not um, breathing in the stuff. Okay, and then I take the grout, the dry grout. Um, this is an eight ounce cup. That's going to be just enough for the, the mix that we need. And I carefully put it down there so I'm not kicking off a lot of the dust. And the ratio of the grout to water is about three to one. And I just visually do it and I, I recognize sort of the, um, the look of it, but um, three to one is a good ratio. So I pour in and I start to mix it. And you wanna be careful not to put in too much water too early because then you have to come back and add a lot more grout to it. And so it's a thick mix. It's kind of like um, a chocolate chip cookie, um, kind of peanut buttery. Um, I think this is a pretty good mix. That, and um, You can tell by the weight of it. And I also do this and it's kind of sticking. That's, so yeah, that's a, that's a fine mix right there. Now here's a really important thing. You let it slake. Uh, that is a chemical process that's happening where you just let it sit. You need to let it set, sit for 10 minutes before you start on the mosaic. Okay, so I wanted to give you an explanation of the grout timing because I'm making a big deal of this. So I uh, made up this little uh, sheet here. This is the grout timing. Um, it's pretty much a two to three hour process that we're talking about here. So if we start at 12 with the your first step is going to be the application of the grout. You're applying it onto the mosaic. You're using the, the rubber trowels and you're placing it on there. You're working it in there. You're doing the edges. The edges take a little bit of time. But this process, depending on the size of the mosaic you're doing, might just take you about 20 or 30 minutes, even though it feels like a lifetime. Um, Here's what I say though, it, even though it just takes you 20 or 30 minutes, um, wait the whole hour before you start the cleaning process. That's really important. You gotta let that grout start to set up. So um, if, it if you're doing a big piece, you could work up to two and a half to three hours with that same bucket of grout and it's gonna work fine, but you don't wanna start the cleaning um, uh, any earlier than, than an hour. So that first hour is just to do the application. Um, here we go at one o'clock. That's when you can start the cleaning. And the cleaning is, is you'll first do the, uh, the wet sponge. The sponge cleaning. And you'll do that after the first hour, after you, one hour from when you started. You can do your edges and you can do a quick little cleaning rub of the surface of it. But, um, you're, but you can't rush that. Don't, don't hurry that process. Um, once you've done that, you walk away again. You leave it alone. And don't come back until two o'clock to do the dry polish. And that's with the cotton cloth. But at two o'clock, that's, that's two hours difference from when you started you can pretty much finish up uh, the grouting process at that point. So we've waited the 10 minutes. We're ready to uh, do the grouting. Let's, let's do this. Um, 
you'll see that it's it's a real trans transformational process here because we're going from the white thin set and this time we're doing the dark grout so it's going to be a huge change so what i do is i quickly remix this chop it up a little bit more so it stays uh more fluid you want it to be um uh, have have fluidity to it uh, while it's wet then you take your trowel and i kind of hold it up like this it's 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 not as easy to hold it i want a little more control so i'm kind of holding like that and I want to use this front edge right here and wipe into um, in every direction. And look at how it just changes um, the lightness there to dark. In fact, it's so dark you can't even see the glass, but um, we'll clean that up later. So I'm just gonna do the surface now. Now I've made a complete mess of everything, but I filled every one of those grout lines. Now I'm going to do the edge and I want you to see that the edge has sort of a shoulder where the tile didn't go to the very edge. And so I fill the shoulder and then I wipe it along the edge too. Um, I have an already finished mosaic. This is done with a gray grout, not the black, but I did the edges too. And I just, I want to hide the edges. I don't want to see them um, hanging on the wall. So I put a really thin coat of the grout on the side too. And this is how you do this. Um, it's a little challenging at first, but you'll get the hang of it. You take a little bit on the edge of your trowel and you wipe it into the shoulder like that. You're catching it on this edge line right there. And you do that. And then if I lift this up, you haven't got the edge yet. You have to come at back at this edge too and wipe it in there. And this, you're just kind of covering it, almost staining it. You want it to be really thin on that edge there. And so you have to hit both of those lines. So I have this on a a, a bin of tiles uh, that's to elevate it so that I can do this edge work right here. You're, you're, you can't do this if it's sitting on the table. So you need to elevate the mosaic when you're doing the grounding. Okay, so that's the application process. That took me under 15 minutes. Um, this is an 11 by 14 size. I used up like three quarters of my grout. So that was just eight ounces that I used of the dry grout. So that kind of gives you an idea of the, the size uh, that I worked with and what you need for your um, uh, your projects of, of that size. I made a complete mess of it, but you have to remember that you have to let the grout clock, you have to obey it. And so I'm just going to leave it like this. I'm going to walk away and do something else for a little while until the hour's up. All right, so it's been an hour since we started, so uh, we're ready to do the sponging. And what I want to do is 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 contour and shape the edges so that they're nice and round. Uh, you can see that it kind of has a, a graininess to it right now and the sponge is going to really quick and easy uh, soften that. And I'm going to go around it and then I'm going to do a quick uh, wipe of the tiles. Now the key to doing 
any of the sponging is you're totally squeezing all the water out of there and you're always using a clean sponge the sponge will get dirty really quickly with every pass of it like look at that so you want to turn it over and use the clean side and you just want to go at it real quick and gentle to get every one of these edges and it just contours it down and, and makes it really a clean side and I turn it, put my sponge in the water one more time, get all that junk off of there, squeeze it out, I'm ready to go again. step is to do a quick sponge to the surface just to level it all out. I might have some high points of grout right here around my fused glass area. You're not cleaning it though at this point. You're just smoothing it. So don't try and do too much right away. But yes, you can kind of see each one of these pieces now. develops a haze over the top of it, that's fine. The grout is still not dry. We looked at the grout clock, we waited another, I say an hour, if you have to do it, at least wait a half hour if you're just dying to do it. Um, what you'll see is the streaks are starting to get lighter in color, um, the streaks that you left there with your sponge. And uh, then you can see it's, um, that it's ready to go. I take off my gloves, I have the dry cotton cloth, and I'm just going to wrap it around my fingers and just start to wipe. And if you're wiping it and you just can see you're moving grout, then you're just not ready to, um, to, to finish the wiping yet. But I really don't have a lot on my um, cloth, so I know that this is ready to go. So I'm going to continue with this. And you're just going around and you're getting it so that you can see all the corners of every piece. And the one thing you want to be careful of is your edges. You don't want to be pushing it off like that and possibly break the, uh, the shoulder that you left there. But you can see how it's starting to brighten everything up. And the story behind this mosaic is this is a picture of uh, the Japanese city of Kyoto. And this is the uh, Vermilion Gates of Fushimi Inari. Uh, this is a shrine in the hills, uh, I think the Higashiyama hills of Kyoto. And um, there are 8,000 of these Vermilion Gates that you can walk through on the way up the hill. And we were there um, last year in October and uh, we went there right at dusk and a full moon uh, came over our heads and it was just such a thrilling place to be. So I finally have made a mosaic and tribute to that. Notice the golden temple that's there in the hills, hiding in the hills. Moonrise over Fushimi Inari. I put a wood frame around this because it's going on the wall inside a house. But if you want to put your mosaic outdoors, remember to use a grout sealer on it. And that is to paint the grout sealer on 72 hours after your grouting. All right, I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks a lot.